Welcome to miscellaneous etc. Needful things that you would want for hacking uh, Chrono Trigger uh, with Temporal Flux. And um, if you're not using that, then um, whatever, whatever. A um, few things with that. Um, of course, you have... Um, and it's probably below in the description. The, the Chrono Trigger database. Uh, invaluable amounts of... Well, this is a different version. This is I stacked it different in my own folder. There's there's also this. Um, some of this information might be relevantly overlapping. Like, it's just... I've got as much infos as I could get together that would help people make their own plugins or at least their own hacks and that kind of stuff. Yeah, that. So, you definitely want this. This is, I will make a separate video on this of like actually going and using, like, it, it's in the series a few times here and there. Uh, not as much as I'd like, but, um, you know, like battle current tech percent chance, you know what I mean? Like, uh, or just so much stuff. Good God. Like, um, yeah, your dactyl XY coordinates, like where they're at on the overworld. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, that stuff. So, I mean, read up on that shit. Like, typically try to look through this before you go to the compendium and ask questions, because typically, like, you might get pointed to the notes at this point. There's not too many people, like, discovering new datas lately, it seems, but uh, I'm hoping to revive that. I'm hoping to revive all of that, uh, and um, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, there's a couple things. Um, and this will be in the files. It's a uh, subtile coordinates. Dang, this is useful. Like, oh, I wish we had that for um, our like we could have that pasted like permanently right here like if I want to know that um, that dang I'm going to actually I mean he's going to try it I'm going to try to actually stretch that to uh, the scale of this okay so you know approximately um, three four Three four B might be this cool, and this looks like badass, like the world's coming to an end or something. And actually, it's just the sunlight. You can change it to different gradients, that kind of stuff. So, like three four B. Let's just shit. I'll make a. I'll try to make a tile here, and go in here, and let's set it to a palette at least. What do we have here anyway? Uh, do I have a layer three on? Yes, I do. That's why it's partially getting weird. On me, three, four, ah, three, four, B, and try to put, that looks like it might be, actually, somewhere around that, cool, alright, well, let's do C, four, B, oh my god, I'm going in the wrong place, wrong universal box, C, oh no, 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 not C, four, three, hall. That would have been way out of range. Huh. Four, three, B. Yes? Maybe not. Oh, three F, F, right? Right. Because three F and F, so. It would be three, five, B. I don't know what I was, I don't know what I was thinking. See, that's, that's why we have this stuff. We have these things for these purposes. 3-5-C. I don't know what I'm making. Uh, I think it's... It's probably this clouds, actually. I might be a little bit off in that. That looks kind of like, yeah, that. Cool. Well... I don't know, I'll see if we can get a perfect conversion size, but yeah, Windows resolutions vary because people using Windows have different monitors and size, scale, proportional, scalar aspect stuff. Um, that. 
Next up, this one came to my attention. I was digging through the notes and um, wanted to point it out. How to control sprite palettes because um, when too many sprites are in a location, some of them often appear with incorrect palettes and they change if you open and close the menu or if you move away from them and come back. You come back like it'll get all glitchy. So to make sure each sprite has a fixed palette, put a change palette command in each sprite startup idle. If the sprites are supposed to have different palettes, give them a different palette number to each of them. The maximum allowed seems to be 7, counting from 0, so it's 8. If you have a ninth sprite, it will either appear with the palette of the first one or contrary, so on. So it's like double rolling over when it glitches out. But this like helps control it a little bit. If some of the sprites are the same, NPCs are supposed to have the same palette, you can give them the same palette number. This is how CT developers manage to have all the sprites appear in the end of time. There are eight different palettes, seven PCs plus Gaspar, and then ninth and tenth sprites. The blue stars actually use the same palette as Magus, if I recall correctly. I believe that is correct, because I did check this. You can also change palettes live during events. It doesn't have to be in startup idle. Ooh! Fucking good shit to know! This was, um, this was a long time ago. It wasn't today, but yeah, it, it, uh, it just, it came up in the notes and that, good to know that stuff. Now we will, we'll have less problems and less people asking shit because now you can, you go to the videos. Ah, gotta take a slurk and, um, okay, um, let's talk about, let's talk about poor. They're dirt poor, right? No, they're rich. Uh, well, what do we want to do here? Well, I imported this. This will be in the files. This will be in the files. And um, what I did was you can, like, you know, you, you know, you're interested in the Moonstone. Well, the descendant of the famous treasure hunter, Toma, simply left it here. He just ditched it. Like, nah. Seems important to you folks. Why don't you just take it? You take the Booner Stone. Cool, you got it. But before that, if he was super duper greedy, Moonstone that was found by the descendant of Toma, the famous treasure hunter, I'll sell for one million kill. Ha 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 ha. And yeah. How do we do this shit? Because, you know, F, 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 F. Well, we, we're spreading it out. We got a couple different variables. I believe 288 is the third one. Oh, you're quiet, you. Shushy. You're tissue. Yeah. Whoa, you actually have one million gil. You're serious about buying the sunstone. And then, yeah. Rip off. Sure. And then. Like, oh, whatever, but then if yes, like, oh, yeah, it's supposed to be 100,000, not a million. You could do a get, you could do, oh, wait, 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 hold on. Um, pin nine, yeah, because C350, okay, because it's been a while since I did this. I made like three different versions of this, so yeah, C350. I don't know why I'm. Typing, I don't know what it is, but let's do times two. That's gonna be, that's gonna be our friend. Um, yeah, that doesn't make sense. What is this? Okay, so which version is? Maybe they got matched together. Let's check it out. So zero F. F zero forty two forty. What is that? Uh, that's way too much. At no rem, that's too much power. Okay, so F forty two forty. One million. Okay, yep. Okay, so it is. It is. Ah, okay. So. You could do this. I think I actually only minus a hundred thousand. Yeah, because I was gonna put it in a loop. I was actually gonna put the minus C three five zero in the temporary variable, clear it in case I had some other value to it, and then 
up to nine. Bling, 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 and then it needs to... I just did that for the play gold sound, but this actually... This actually could be put in here. But if you're using memory and gold and inventory change stuff in a loop, right? From zero to nine, so ten. Yeah. You should have a pause. You technically should have a pause. So I would do is I would probably put a pause here and then have it loop to the pause. Like a pause of like 0.25 seconds. Uh, possibly. I'd have to I'd have to tinker with it, but yeah, try 0.25. And I don't I don't know what this other value is. This could be like some other thing. Maybe it's the synchronized time. Like if something else is being loaded, it's gonna cross uh like use that reference. That's my prediction, my theory on that. I'm trying to figure out what that actually means. But anyway, yeah, so that. Like I would I'd warp up to there and but of course of course. Yeah, that just got weird on me because I just changed go to's and I have to repoint all those now by closing it out. Because we don't have, like, an update. Update doesn't assign. Like, maybe they were going to add that. That would have made sense. But, um, yeah, you have to close this out and then reload it. And, unfortunately, I'm not at that location anymore. So, I'm not going to do that. Like, watch the videos on events and, like, to see how those work a little bit better. But, uh, moving on, I got some other stuff to talk about here. So, we talked about using large amounts of gold. And... Yeah, we are going to talk about, well, I did this in the other video, but um, may as well cover it here as well. Overworld notes, exits. Like, okay, so you want to use, like, if you're, if you're using an event in locations, use E0, E1. Otherwise, if you're using a different one and it works for some reason, let us know why and what you did. Because there's so many variants and there's different purposes. There's a few in the game that are different then E1 and E0, so take a look at those and study that. I can't remember which ones are the word. I wish I wrote those down, but anyway, so if you're trying to go from here to the overworld, like end times is what I called mine, it's last village, but end times made more sense. 8522, that doesn't even make sense. If we go to the overworld, if we go there. 8522, where are you going to get that on here? You're going to go to 85, really? And then 22. Okay, we'll find it. Oh, God. That's like putting us up, like, North Cape is not up here. North Cape is definitely way over here. So, where are we getting 4211 from? Like, of course, down here. 4210, 4211-ish. Um, we're getting that by, let's see, let's try, let's try 42, let's try a little formula then, yep, um, 42, or the other way, we can do it the other way, let's do, let's do 42 times 2, uh, you dick, that's 54. Is that anything to do with what we have? Okay. Ah. I got too many things open. Get out of here. Okay, I gotta just close some stuff. Just to get that off of here. Okay, 85. Not even close. So, okay, what's 85? Um, by a formula, I'm messing this part up already, man. Okay, so yeah. If, uh, if x equals odd number, minus 1. Okay, so like minus, if it's an odd number, and then then divide the number by 2, you'll get your x. So, 84 divided by 2, 42. Right! Because that's right. Right. And then, I don't know why I closed that. That's absurd. So, and then 22. So, where are we going? Where are we going? We're going to 10. So, yeah. 
Now, the weird thing with that is, yeah, sometimes, like, okay, so, yeah, 22, 5 by 2, that's B. That's 11. So, there is a little bit of variance, and I didn't close it. It's opener. But, yeah, there's a little bit of variance, but that's a formula. It's the other way around. Okay, so, um, from locations. May as well type it out, I guess, since I'm wasting video time by not. This is the purpose of the video. Uh, to yeah, you don't really need to use a formula the other way. Um, unless, like, you're going to, like, pick a spot where you're already in the location first would make sense. But, uh, yeah, it would just be the other way around. It would be your X number times two. And then if it's, if it's, um, and then whatever number it is, you add one. So, number, um, Times two and plus one equals the other way around. Yeah. This actually might help some people. So that's why. And then this is just some mystery shit that I threw in there just to. Because, like, my notes are weird. Like, so yeah. That. Well, what are we doing here? Like, well, besides that, like, I wanted to show you that stuff in this, like, kind of side useful video of just compilation of useful stuff that will really help you out. Just like this liquor is going to really help me out. Well, I want to add, like, North Cape's cool and stuff. Um, but I want, I want water. Besides just this cool, sparkly, weird... This is an abstract. This is a cool, like, sunset thing, but... Um, yeah, I want something... I want to add water tiles. Let's add water tiles. Something that might work. This could work. This could work. We have to do some... Let's make it simple, though. Um, I'm just going to make... Literally a the uh, that just obliterated. I just blew the map to atoms. Okay, well, save. How about that? And let's close. Let's close the overworld properly. Let's get that out of the way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Map properties is what I want. Draw layer 3, that's probably off. If it's a map that you're not using in draw layer 3, because all the ones that have draw layer 3, I'll have it on. There's a way to turn that on and off with events. I don't want to get into that right now, because I can't remember the memory pointer that you have to change to get it to do that, but I want to make a really advanced, a much more advanced map-making video, besides 103, um, or whatever. So, yeah, we want this to be on. Let's. We want this to also exist. Let's. Uh, really. I hope I just saved the crap that I just did because I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna use revert. That will reset the map to the first time you loaded temporal flux. So you don't want to do that usually, are there? Let's just turn all these other off. Let's just go to layer three. Oh god. I could see my work here is needed. Um. Hmm. In fact, actually, what I'm going to do, maybe I won't do that just yet. Okay, I was going to say, I have, I actually have one of these done, but, I'm just going to literally do that. Just get out of the way, and you're not downloading, you have no internet, ha! Huh? I don't have internet. If you want to help me get internet, to hit the like button, it helps me out a lot, or, you know, I'm, there's, I can line these up all day. Uh, the point is, is of this, though. 
I want... First off, Layer 3 is going to look like shit right now with these with this configuration. So what I ought to do is this. With this, there's a couple different ways. I could make it scroll kind of like the mountain background in some of those like Death Peak. There's a way to set Layer 2 scrolling. Thing is, though, Layer 2 has these tiles here. So that won't work. If you want to use that, you have to make Layer 2 only the background you want scrolling. I'd have to chop these out, and then I think I actually had to rearrange the scene. Some of these a little bit didn't line up, so I had, like I rewrote this map. I actually made it a, like an area you have to climb up, and then you're fighting the beasts that you fight in uh, Al Getty, the beast nest. Like, along the way, and sometimes they'll surround you. It would be like, pincer attack! And stuff like that, like, all the way up before you get to talk to Magus. So, so it's like two or three battles. Either, each time you come to explore, even if you're just fucking around exploring, you have to battle that shit. Like, whatever. Whatever. Well, right now, we're not gonna worry about that. But I want this. Like, let's do a, let's do a simpler version of this. This is just useful, needful things. Good lord. Good Lord. Oh, that's right. Height. Layer height's 10. Let's keep it as 10 because it's going to lock to that first 10, like, segment of the screen. That might keep it stuck here because we don't have a scrolling for it. Um, in fact, actually, let's, let's take a look. Actually, we, we can quick do this. I'm not showing the design mechanisms of every single step of this. But if I go here, no, that's Act 1. We want the Act 2 version. Yeah. Oh, for frickin' Pete's sake. How about that? How do you like me now? You gotta be shitting me. All right, it's just mocking me now. Okay, well, fuck this. Since I'm over here, ha, I'm going to make it more interesting. Like, how do you like me now? I'm trying to be like, oh, sly. And it uh, just train wrecked my ego. Shut up. Actually, no, it ain't. I'm a megalomaniac. I'm not a narcissist. So I don't give a fuck, ultimately. I do got to take another slurk of my drink. So, wah, 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 wah. Um, I gotta find the right thing, though. Because I'm getting lost already. I'm too fucking tiggered up today, and that's why I'm trying to drink to oblivion to slow down. Okay, here we go. This will work. Pre-final. Exports. Maps. Yeah, I need that map. Maps, baby. Why, therefore, is there... Ah, how do you like that? Ah, uh, like you couldn't have. Like, every time I actually have, like... I'm really thinking this is the one. This is the one I ought to, like... I should just destroy the others. Destroy them all. Okay, one AC. We do we have anything I can just jump to? That we'll get to in the videos. Um, same with whatever the fuck this is. Same with that. Um, hmm. wow. I'm kind of mad right now. Like that should have been in there. See, that's a weird thing with uh, some of this stuff. So, hmm. okay. Better way to explain this, then. I, I, I didn't mean to, like, go on a diatribe of, uh, almost intentional rage there, but, uh, there's just, there's some things that have disappeared, and I'm making sure that shows up on this video, so if somebody's fucking around with that shit, then Anonymous can, like, go kick some ass for me and get all my files back, because, fuck, I'm tired of that shit, and the ass clowns doing it need to be punished. And it's just, like, maybe they should just lose all their money, too. 
so that they fucking have to, uh, make videos and, uh, like, uh, hit the like button if you like it. That helps me out. That's just, uh, it's, uh, don't worry about, don't worry about my rants. It's in the, it's in the hashtag of the video that, uh, that might exist. Okay. So a waste of 10 minutes, but at least you learned something, hopefully, by probably watching me waste time. Here's the thing, though. I added a debug room. There is a debug room in the Chrono Trigger, but this one's called Debug Motherfucking Room. And in the files, you can import debug room. And I underscored it in the naming convention so that it will go to the top of the list. You can find it. Uh, don't worry about this. That video has not been released yet, but... Um, yeah, so it's basically just like Aristone. And we got a couple, uh, we got a couple exits. We can go to this. Don't worry about that. That's way later in the series. Way later. Uh, some badass cool shit. You're gonna fucking love it. Um, if you're into like expanding and modifying. Okay, so we're going to go to 1AC North Cape, as we got right there, A1C, of course, of course, that's the crash course and exits, watch the videos, but if we go there, now this might work, oh yeah, oh yeah, hold on, because I changed the location, don't do, okay, we have a problem, like, even though this is doubled up, because, because two reasons this is like this. First off, we're using a larger screen scroll on a map. Like, if I put a scroll to this, like, let's try, like, 1A. I don't know. I'm actually guessing there. Uh, why? Why couldn't it just, like, have, uh, whatever. Oh, yeah. Now, I only changed the exits. That's why going in the menu and coming back out will work and not crash the screen. Because I only changed the tile map and the exits. If you change the events, like the script code for like when you talk to the Enertron, you know what I mean? You know what I mean. Like that shit. Like it will crash. Okay. So we got this. Cool. That's a start. Now, I want it to go only to the right. There's a certain number we have to put in for that. I had it figured out all out. I can't believe I lost that file. But the most important thing right now, besides the doubling up, we can fix the doubling up easily. The most important thing is this is not animated. That looks pretty awful. That's terrible. So, in the files, we want to... Go to... Is it in graphics notes? I hope. Nope. It definitely is not. Yeah. And we got our palettes. Okay, SNES pal for that. Location palette. Uh, which one? And times D2. Two. Whatever, right? Plus the beginning of the index, right? Yeah. Yeah. That. So... But the thing is, ah, that's not the right one. I wanted to show that anyway. Graphics notes, miscellaneous notes, no. Those are for you. Animation tile sets, da. Okay, so, West Cape Palette. North Cape Pal, here we go. Now, this tile set, it's either based on the palette, I think it's the tile set number. So, what we gotta do is open up Hex Editor, open the file that we're working with, and keep in mind, I've explained in this in several videos, this is folly. Because I have this file open in two different programs. Like, this should be common sense shit. 
But if I open this up and I change this and save it, I spent five days working on this and like didn't make backup copies like a moron. And then go over here and like alt tab into this and then save. And then like I've closed out this program. I'm fucked because all that work is gone. Like, cause the memory of the, the whole data object will save in that context. So beware. Cross file, open instantiation. Windows is so fucking crazy about mutex locks in programming code because that makes sense. You like the thing is open or it's not open. It's like three different C's rotating around a cylinder and they have to all line up to like let you access it. But when you have two files open somehow, you can have those open and save and fuck up shit. But bank information can't. Well, why can't we have our file access have protection like that? Ass hats. So that's my rant there. I hope you liked it. So yeah, we're gonna go to this address in the ROM. And 3B was 3B. It's 3B now. Cool. Let's make that 88. And then how about uh this? Now big surprise, like zero three, that's what this is. Like I'll have to jump to it. So we're gonna make that zero zero. So eighty-eight and zero zero on that and save now like that file access thing i was talking about i'm gonna open i'll be wise and reopen the rom and just to like definitely have reopened the rom i'm gonna like click somewhere make a change even though i didn't i right clicked copy the tile hit control s control shift s let's try it out Yeah! So, even though it's scrolling slowly, the water is rising. Run away! Like, you can make a mini game out of, like, that or whatever, but, um, uh, and there's, there's some other, like, tile layering stuff we can talk about, but, uh, mainly I wanted to explain that is that in certain tile sets, like the dactyl's nest. Okay, so. That was 53. Okay, the Dactyl's Nest, the North Cal uh, Cape. This is a palette thing, I believe. I believe it is. It might not be. Let's take a look at the Dactyl's Nest. Because we have... All right, let's open another location tab. Just so I don't have to, like, close and try to hunt and pack again. So, Dactyl's Nest. Lower. Uh, we got pallet 1C, we got tile set 14, we got 7. Alright. We have none of the same. So I'm assuming it's either it's either this is tile set, or it's the pallet. I'm pretty sure it's the pallet, actually. Because um, if I want animation on this, if I want animation on North Cape, I gotta do that. On Dactyl's Nest, okay, so Dactyl's Nest Palette, okay, what, what is that? Right, you got, you got 43, you got 1C. Hmm. Got D14. Okay, so what you do then, in this case, is write down, and I might include this later, but I'm not going to do it for you now. That's the homework, maybe, is to figure that shit out. So you have to think and uh, build more gears in your mind. Build them all. Build them all. And make them all fucking wizardry, fucking badass, cool shit, happiness shit. So yeah, we're going to use uh, either the tile set number or is it the between total tile set number or palette number and yeah that to get to get 
these bytes, these these two bytes, these nuts. I mean, bytes. Yeah, because it's all data. Everything's a number, right? Right. So yeah, because the dactyl's nest is the tile set, or is it the pallet set? And then why is this number and this number? And of course, these are only two away. It's next to it. So, what is the formula? What is that? Um, oh god, I got too just too many folders open. It's just getting bucket embarrassing. Like seven five thousand folder mazes later. Ah, I just warped me there. That's not what I intended. Windows. Like I don't think I you should be running. I don't think Windows should be running anyway, but whatever, whatever. Okay, so, yeah, kind of in oh, different nodes. Yeah, like in here. Like, what's the, okay, obviously, like, times a certain amount to get to that, and the minus in between two, so you have to just copy the formula twice and figure that out. Yeah, because, um, hmm. Yeah, that. Next thing. Good God. Because, yeah, I want, I'm want. i glad I pointed this out. Because there are certain, there are certain ranges. Like, okay, so if you go to, let's, let's check a di couple different rooms. Let's check a couple different areas. We'll come back to this. We'll look at this. Um... Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, for instance, I guess there's like, yeah, I guess there's grungy old R Storm Rafters, right? That's going to scroll it up. It's going to have, because look at this here. This has 10. This is a 20 map, a 20 by 20, because usually the width and the height of layer 1 and 2 are the same. Unless you're doing a layer 1, and then you want layer 2 to be 10, because it's scrolling gradually over, you're doing it. Or in this case, it's scrolling of layer 2, actually. Actually, oh yeah, right, this is actually layer 1. Scrolling is 4. So there's like a subtle scrolling shift of this entire map at the top with the with the that like hmm how they figure that out like yeah but then like the the mist is rising up a certain way like on these certain layers and whatnot right right and we go to Okay, my adventurer's tent. We got, uh, we got this platform. And we'll get into this in the series. Watch, uh, tutorial two. In fact, watch them in order, though, to make, just watch them in order. Even if you're like, I want to skip ahead and learn how to do that shit. Watch them from the beginning. I hate to say it. Like, I'm ADHD. I have to skip ahead on shit. And yeah, like, fuck. I don't like to have to do that, but it makes sense. I'm telling you that. So watch them in order. Fuck. These side videos, though, you can watch them in any order. It'll help you. Um, so we got, we got a layer one scrolling of two for some reason. Like maybe that's how much it scrolls in comparison. And, uh, scrolling one A, it's gonna sort of like I copied this from the flea battle. I don't know why these galaxies are just so dark. I gotta fix the tile set, but whatever. Like, anyway, um, yeah, so it's scrolling slowly kind of upwards instead of like, like where it's almost giving you epileptic shock. Fuck. And then, like, the mist is actually going kind of this way, and of course, I could make it weird. Ah! 
And whoa, you're gonna have these weird black spaces in reality on your map. Or you're gonna have, uh, my favorite. Pick me a minute. Just don't worry about it. There's that one too. That one too. That one's hazy mystery. Some of them don't seem to change it, but they do. Oh, there it's all behind it now. Weird. So yeah, like there's your layer priorities and like kind of how the multiply of that works. And subtract actually certain ways that this is placed subtract will actually add it if you have it turned certain ways so you're just like oh i'm just clicking through them it does the same thing it doesn't look like it's doing anything there we go that's one of my favorites that's one of my favorites where it's just kind of like like what the hell like you're in a freaking ghosty void where the carpet disappears because the clouds are layering over it at certain spots in the layer two. And yeah. What the hell, guy? Cool shit. Cool shit. So there are, there are those when it comes to the layers. But yeah, you want to figure out that formula and I'll post it later. I'll do it. But I'm also trying to like, engage the community to go forward instead of just like throwing all the information out there and then you have everything and then nothing gets done. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying because I procrastinated to the point where I will do it later. I'll procrastinate later. I traded lethargy for sloth once because I mean I was wore out in my soul or whatever. But yeah. Um, what else do I want to cover in this video? This is why I should have live streams so like I can cover other stuff. Maybe we should get there going. Yeah, that thing. So, um I think for right now, other than uh the other thing I would do is do a quick cover is bah. Like a tree. Graphics. I'll quick cover this. Because basically. We, uh, we replaced the graphic. I added all these extra ones. I changed some of those. Ultimate weapons have their own graphics. You can have several ultimate weapons. I don't care. Moonstone. Sunstone. Ugh. Seraph song. Some other shit. Cool. And, yeah, item names. 11 bytes each, right? 11 frickin' bytes each. Items. You can go to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Right? And it will show you each one of those 11 bytes. Like, FF is the first byte. The next FF, second byte. They should almost, like, put dotted lines in there or something. Because, okay, blade. That's one byte. And, in fact, actually, the symbol for blade is 20. Hmm. Atom edge. I got 9B. Right here. Now, unfortunately, I can't change this. But, um... And you can't just type in 9B. I wish you could. That would be nice. Because I will literally put the characters for that. So. Vulcan. And. That's that's what a wood sword is in Japan. Is a redwood oak. And yeah. Item number times B11. Plus uh, this. And tonic is BD. So BD times B plus the index table equals this number. Right? Right. And, uh, yeah. Because most tables are 
in programming are like that. So once you find one of these numbers and like, and you're like, oh, I think it has something to do with this, and it might fit all the way up to there. Well, then you figure it out how big it is, and then can parse it. Yeah. Otherwise, use the fucking calculator. Yes. And, so, yeah. For tonic, potion is the icon, not the tonic, not the potion, etc. So use number 80. You have to use a hex editor. Figure out those addresses. I was super nice and went through the whole list in one of my videos. In one of my fuck around, I think it was fuck around video, that uh, I actually just sat there and typed up all of these, like Adam Edge, Artemis, all of that stuff. Um, I gotta check my debug room again. Let's check this out. Like, let's make sure that what I just said actually does anything. Because uh, some of my debug room shit doesn't work. What I'm trying to do is make it so it's like temporary memory assignment this. Just to zero it out. Unless it's F0, the total number of items, then it's gonna like increase that and like also increase 7F0200, which is uh, mem.item. And what 7F0200 can do, and it's gotta be one byte, I'm pretty sure. What that can do when it has that value is you can paste, um, you can actually use, like, got one item. Like, and it will load, oh, it's 200, yep. Like, it will actually, from memory, paste that. So I was trying to actually be like, got, 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 all that shit. It's probably wrecked. Um, where is this anyway? Hold on. In my thing. Okay, it's at the treasure chest. Fuck it. Let's try it out. This is, uh, this isn't a fuck around video. This is, I want to show you rock solid stuff, not like what if stuff. However, this is theoretical that, um, first off, here's something that, uh, I'm working on. This is weird shit that can happen. Yeah, notice how I got that infinity symbol in there. Yeah, without it crashing. Check a yeah. Take a look at the files. That is not what I want, because it's not going to the first ten items. It's doing some weird loop shit. After ten items, it's not even getting to those. So that's my own. That's my own thing. I gotta do. But anyway, no. Oh yeah, I got my uh, debug room at the Millennial Fair. That's where I set the exits, and I'm using uh, that uh, the song, the singing mountain. I switched the choir and stuff around. Ah, got it. Okay, so actually, I think I have these in. I think I have these in my inventory. Okay, first off, Adam Edge, we got it. Seraph song. Okay, what about Bandana? Nice. How about Ribbon? Oh, looks like a ribbon. Amulet, or sight scope. Green dream, it looks like a meteor. Amulet. Power scarf. Flea vest. Yeah. That's something else. We'll get into the series of what that shit is. Karate Gi. Yeah. Looks like a dress icon, I know, but... That's how we do. That's how we do. We can do that shit. We can do that shit. Oh yeah, the Aussie pants. They have the bandana and or underwear and or whatever icon. Alright. Alright, well. One more thing, I suppose. Ew! Yeah! Quick show. I gotta try it once. I guess I was gonna go to Gato. 
This is stuff I added in uh, tutorial 2. Take a look. If you like what you see, then take a look and uh, learn how to do this stuff. Which instance? Now this is like a repeatable mini dungeon. Ah, oh, come on, slowed. Ah, <laughs> oh, I can't, I can't uh, access my inventory in this mini dungeon for a per certain reason. Oh, my rank is already too high. Oh, fuck. I don't know why that's here. I actually put something else, but... Alright, our Adam Edge works pretty good. Um, <laughs> Alright, this one doesn't warp you out yet. Okay. Yeah, we got all our icons. So, there's that. Anyway, I didn't mean to prattle on too much about it. But, um, in the series, we make some cool stuff. So fuck yeah, I just got hooked up with a bunch of fucking stuff. God dang it, son of a bitch. Oh, yeah. Some of these don't have the right icon, but I can fix, I'll fix that. That shit happens sometimes. Now, here's the thing about that, like, Chrono has this sword equipped. Okay, I was just saying, it adds a plus, uh, thing to it, but, yeah, I was gonna say, you could use a speed to, if a weapon modifies their stuff, like, you gotta watch out for that, because I think that actually can affect your, uh, your, um, your thing. I'm so gonna beat you. Oh, yeah. Fucking stay, bitch. Haha, <laughs> I knew it. Usually when I hit 21, the dealer busts. So... There's something about the mathematical aspects of that that could be looked at in random number generation. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that's broken. I gotta fix that. Shit. Okay, well. Yeah, anyway. Essentials that you want to have. That, um, what else is, uh, there's something else really kind of sort of important in the list. Mmm, like, yeah, I'm not sure. Can't remember what I was going to say. It's not super duper important, but, um, I did want to say that, um, these will these will accumulatively stack in the in the project files, and eventually though, like the files that you're gonna get, like 
this will exist still, but it will also be all of them copied into this. So, it's kind of like, beware of that. Like, I will have it all organized out and, uh, you know, um, and like that stuff. So, uh, one of those to get a prelude of, um, where we might be at. Not there. But, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, cool. Try it out. Oh, yeah, I can't exit. The, that's an interesting thing. If you're stuck dancing, you can exit the menu to reset the, the exits. Ah, okay, never mind. Um, wow, I really got that far. <laughs> ha! So, we're headed to something like this. No shit, I actually hit. Oh, fuck. Done. Yeah, so check out uh, tutorial four, which is mostly done. And uh, we'll be talking about that. Yeah, that's one of the four elements that, uh, kind of like an Earthbound, you gotta absorb the power of this place. Or whatever. What other essentials could there be? What other could there be? I'm just trying to think here. Oh, man, that glitched. Cool! Oh! I didn't think that actually worked. Cool. Oh, now we're stuck. Ha ha! Ha ha! Look at this shit. Cool. Like, my camera is controlled by not even a player, but I can't go up. Aha! Interesting. Um, yeah, so... I'm gonna cover that in a different video, but... That is... Stuff that can happen. When you're modifying, like, because this is a compiled game. This is already, like, burned to transistors, burned to a chip, like, as flash memory, and, like, basically, we, somebody ripped this stuff from the cartridge, and we turned it into a file once more. And we're hacking that shit. So weird shit can happen. Like, I have that, like, as far as I know, coded pretty decently. Like, even my own drunken, fucked up endeavors. But, there's something weird with that. Like, the way the code layers. So, when you're hacking that stuff. So, take a look. It's in a book. A motherfucking reading rainbow. But you don't gotta take my word for it. Cause, butterfly in the sky. I could get twice as high. <laughs>